OK, to stay competitive, Northeast Ohio is looking for ways to grow its manufacturing base in renewable energy. So we're talking about wind, solar and hydropower, to name a few. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, a base that includes companies supporting this industry as a whole. In Avon, a new manufacturing facility is actually tackling a problem with those huge wind turbines. Wow. I know you've seen them coming mm -hmm. down the highways. You're like, is that a water slide? No, nope, it's a wind turbine. And in this morning's Mission Possible, Isabel Lawrence shows us how the solution is actually one that can benefit many communities. These farms are pumping out a precious commodity, vital to our planet's future. Wind is growing at a rapid pace. We have plenty of open areas where turbines can go. But for all the good in this mode of renewable energy, there exists a problem. Wind turbines don't last forever. The turbine itself and the blade are both built to last about 20 to 30 years. And when they come down, most parts can be reused or recycled. But those decommissioned blades, some outstretching the wings of a Boeing 747, present a Herculean challenge. So fiberglass has long been a problem in the wind industry. What to do with it once it reaches the end of their life. So we were tasked with finding solutions for the blades. Earlier this year, blades started arriving at this Avon building, extending the length of three football fields. This is Canvas. Canvas is a brand. It's a manufacturer of products from retired wind turbine blades that inspires communities to reimagine their spaces. A team of dreamers and innovators, craftsmen and creators, who found a way to deconstruct these massive blades into smaller fillets before moving them onto fabrication, scanning, painting and finishing. Achieving a result proudly shown here. Benches, tables, swings, and blank spaces transformed by artists. Old blades given new life to serve parks, campuses, and gathering places. It's a collaborative effort reaching beyond the walls of this building. Outside corporations offer up their own retired materials to support the initiative. And manufacturing partnerships have been built here, united in the same cause. It's spelled C-A-N-V-U-S because it's a canvas for all of us. It's a canvas in an artistic sense for communities to, to be able to paint on our products. It's a canvas for other industries to introduce their recycled materials into our products. Eventually, the company would like to add more locations, expanding their reach across the U.S. while easing shipping distances. But making Northeast Ohio home base was a no-brainer. There is a great talent pool of people here. We needed craftsmen. And we needed people that couldn't just run a machine, but could use tools to make a product. There are thousands of them here, and they're great people that are now employed by our production studio to make these products. It's taken three years of trial and error to get here. Canvas is not the first company to tackle the problem of old blades, but it is the first to take this route. We hope that Canvas can create a movement of inspiration, of sustainability, to inspire others to reimagine their spaces, reimagine the materials we use, reimagine the ways we dispose of the materials. It's really what we hope Canvas to, to be able to inspire to the world. Isabel Lawrence, 3 News. Isabel, thank you. And earlier this week, pieces went out to the Fireland School District and a bench went to Huntington Beach in Bay Village. Each piece will also contain a metal plate with QR code, and that code will share information about the piece as well as the names of everyone who had a part in it.